Hey UTA, I'm Alana Quillen and here is your top story for January 19th, 2010. On your first day back this semester, you may notice a few changes on campus, one of which are the fences around Ransom Hall. Shorthorn reporter Sherea Sherrod has more on this. Chairless desks and cordless electrical outlets are all that's left of Ransom Hall. With renovations underway in Ransom Hall to convert the building into a student success center, students can now use its computers in buildings across campus. To see where the computers have been moved to and to track computer availability, students can log on to www.uta.edu slash OIT to view real-time graphs of campus computer use. The fact that we can't use Ransom Hall anymore is pretty unfortunate considering that we can't print there. I'm I'm actually considering purchasing a printer for my home computer. The Success Center, now called University College, is designed to help students do well their freshman year and stay on track for graduation. University spokeswoman Kristen Sullivan says the university wants to see more students earn undergraduate degrees in six years than currently do. In order to make that happen, she says the university needs to supply all advising, tutoring, and counseling students need. Before construction can begin in February, administrators must first complete the bidding process to select which company the university will hire to perform the renovations. Sullivan says she does not yet know how far along administrators are in the selection process. This is Sherea Sherrod reporting for the Shorthorn. Roadwork has continued on Mitchell and West Streets over the break as the university prepares for major construction on campus. Workers began to install drainage inlets last semester on the sides of the two streets that will reroute stagnant water into Johnson Creek. Construction is scheduled to continue over the next two weeks, weather permitting. Upcoming construction on campus includes the restructuring of the overhead utility lines on Pecan Street. To support the university's efforts for environmental conservation, the President's Sustainability Committee has named Meghna Terre as its new director. Terre says she will help initiate and coordinate programs related to carbon footprint reduction waste management, and sustainable building design. She says she also wants to get students more involved with the university's sustainability efforts. She said it's the students who help set the tone for what needs to be done. Going green and I would say growing smart should be our motto because that's very important um, in this economic uh, you know, climate. Students craving something new for lunch can now purchase sushi in the Plaza Food Court located in the University Center. Sushik, the sushi company has replaced Mav Salads and is now another food option alongside Subway, Chick-fil-A, Pizza Hut, and Panda Express. Students requested a sushi option when university dining services held general satisfaction surveys. Sushi and other Japanese cuisines will be prepared daily by a trained sushi chef. To let us know how you feel about the addition of Sushik Sushi, visit theshorthorn.com. Students still interested in getting an H1N1 vaccination can do so for free at the University Health Services. Health Services Director Robert Bloom says the university has given out about 1,350 shots since receiving the vaccine in November. They are left with just under 400 doses. Tarrant County Public Health Information Officer Vanessa Joseph says university students should get the vaccine because they are in the target age group for the H1N1 virus and in a constant contact environment. We're working on these stories and more. Pick up a copy of the Shorthorn on the Racks tomorrow across campus and be sure to check out our extras on theshorthorn.com. Thanks for watching the Shorthorn. I'm Alana Quillen.